Thank you very much for having me today. It's really a pleasure <laughs> to be here. And uh, so let's start to see what what is the topic for today. Today is the topic is Cospaces and SharePoint Framework, because yes, we can use uh, Cospaces and SharePoint Framework to develop our new, let's say, your new project in the next weeks or in the next month or year. Uh, but first of all, what is GitHub Cospaces? It's a kind of uh, development environment in the cloud. So you can access uh, your dev environment from anywhere, from your uh, uh, mobile phone, from your uh, iPad, Chromebook, from uh, a Mac, another, uh, uh, another machine, a virtual machine, <laughs> whatever you want. And uh, it's not easy to develop, of course, from a, <laughs> a mobile phone, but you can do it if you want. Also from an iPad, it's not easy, but you can do it. And uh, in addition, uh, what is great in, with GitHub Cospaces is also the configuration time because you don't have to configure a new machine if you hire a new developer or uh, if you switch time to time to one machine to another. Like me, for example, I have a, at home my gaming machi machine for working, but I have also three laptops. One is for working, and the two others are for Netflix. Server. But uh, yeah, I can uh, I can work also from that machine because I use Cospaces, for instance. So you have, your development environment is on the cloud, and it's very easy to reconfigure everything. And uh, in addition, you don't have any local repository. So this is great for two reasons. The first reason you don't have the node modules folder in your uh, on your machine, and we have a lot of nodes folder in our machine. And uh, the second one is the, the letter property, because uh, you don't have the source code on your machine. So if someone steals your laptop, you don't have any problem about the intellectual property of, source of the source code. Okay. And uh, yes, every developer can use his own private cospaces because you are the only owner of your cospaces and no one can access to your space directly. So you cannot use an excuse like uh, it works on my machine and then someone else touch it because it's not possible to access to uh, other cospaces. And you can work directly online in the browser if you want. You cannot uh, have, let's say, Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio installed on your machine. So this is why you can work directly from the Chromebook or uh, your mobile phone. But you can also connect Cospaces and Visual Studio Code with uh, one click if you want. But I will show you later in the demo. Okay. And it works also in Visual Studio 2022. is in preview, but uh, it works as well. And uh, you can configure your container as you want. And I mean, if you want to install the node version uh, 14 or 16, or uh, you want to install uh, the Yeoman latest version or the previous version, you can configure your container. And it's also on my demo later. Cospaces is in general availability at the moment. It's not in beta anymore. Uh, but if you were in the beta, you can act, still access your container in beta and uh, with a kind of limitation, but yes, it's possible. Okay, but how much is cost uh, uh, without cost spaces? It's cheaper, more or less, than uh, uh, a new machine for working. And uh, it's, not, it's not cost very much, honestly, because if you, let's say, take a machine uh, with two cores, for instance, and you work for 20 days, you spend $14 each month. So it's very, it's very cheap, honestly. And uh, yeah, and uh, also you have to pay also the storage, but the storage is cheaper than the machine. So for one gigabyte, you spend $0.07, so nothing. At the moment, you can access Cospaces from your organization account. It's not possible at the moment to access Cospaces and use Cospaces for your 
personal account. But maybe in the few in a few months or years, who knows? It is possible also to use as a private user uh, this kind of cost basis. Okay. So let's see. I am a developer, so I like to share some code as some, some demos, honestly, instead of talk, talk, talk. So uh, here, this is my GitHub account. And uh, if I go to my GitHub account and I create a new repository, oh, sorry, uh, not here, a new repo here. Uh, called SP0001 or something similar. It's a public, okay, I create repository just like that. Okay, if you are Cospaces enabled on your, uh, on your machine, okay, you can uh, just, let's say, uh, it's better if I create, sorry, I create a new one. I forgot to check. Add a readme and ignore file like node.js, node, and a readme, and I create a repository. Again, sorry for that. And here, if I click on code, as you can see here, I have the local, as always, and I have also here my Cospaces tab, okay? And here from Cospaces, if you have, let's say, Cospaces active on your account, you can, create a new Cospaces directly on the main. So if I click here, I have a, a GitHub is creating for me a new Cospaces and it's built, it's connecting. Okay. It takes me maybe more or less 30 seconds or, uh, okay, less than 30 seconds, maybe three seconds <laughs> at the moment. And here you have a lot of stuff installed by, by default. I mean, I zoom a little bit. So you have uh, Python, Node.js, .NET, and, and stuff like that. If I click here, Node MV, Node version, I have the latest version of Node, for instance. And uh, I have also an NVM, the Node version manager, just installed Python and stuff like that. But it's not ready to for a SharePoint framework in this moment. Okay, so. But you can configure your, uh, let's say, container as you want, as I mentioned before. So if I click here and I click container, con, con, con spaces is better, spaces, I can configure my development account, development container, sorry, with a lot of, uh, let's say, personalization. Okay. So I can show here. Choose your uh, Alpine or uh, Debian, Kubernetes, or stuff like that. For instance, I can also choose Alpine, okay, and the version of, of Alpine. And GitHub create for me a new dev container, and I can create, uh, I can use this container and uh, configure my container from this file. But of course, for SharePoint framework, you have to install. For instance, uh, Yeoman, Gulp, a lot of stuff, okay? So it's not, let's say, useful that every time you have to create a new dev container JSON, okay? So this is why I create uh, this template. It's on my GitHub account. And every time I don't like to, let's say, to show my to show my stuff because I'm not a sales, but I, <laughs> it's on my GitHub at the moment. So if you want, you can uh, you can follow the project and customize your uh, uh, environment if you want. And here I created a, a new folder called Dev Container. So this is a kind of uh, let's say best practice. Okay. So here in this folder, I create two stuff. One is a JSON file called Dev Container JSON, and another one is a, a best script file. Okay, the dev container, uh, I I define that my, I, I try to zoom a little bit, sorry. Uh, I take the image directly from uh, the, our Valdec image from, uh, uh, from Docker with uh, the latest version of the SharePoint framework, okay? And this is the name of the image, of course, and uh, I also open directly the port 
that we are using for our SharePoint framework project. Okay, and you can also add attributes to the port like the name or uh, yes, this label is just a name or stuff like that. And then you can also personalize your Visual Studio code because, for instance, here I install a lot of extension directly from Visual Studio, Visual Studio code without uh, every time to add to this project this uh, um, extension. Okay, so in this case, I take the Helio uh, extension pack for a SharePoint framework and I install everything from there. So in this case, you have a your, uh, let's say, environment up and running in 30 seconds for a SharePoint framework. Okay, and at the end, I call a bus script that is located in the same folder here, SPF setup, and also here I call npm install, so I don't have every time to initialize with a, a new npm install every time my new project. And I also trust the dev cert locally, okay? And time to time, do you have a problem with this command? And uh, so you have to rebuild the container. Okay, let's see if you are lucky later during the demo. Okay, so how you can use it, this template? I mark the repository as a template. And if I click on use template, use this template, okay, I can create a new repo. Okay, it's public, but it's okay. And if I create a repository from here, as you can see here, I have a, the new repository with the same files as before. Okay, and here I can click again here, Cospaces, and I can create a new Cospaces. And from here, when the, let's say, the container is, is ready, in this case, it takes more than 30 seconds, time to time, because uh, it needs to download the image from Docker, and it says a new container and stuff like that, because the container, the default container is just allocated from GitHub, so it's more, uh, let's say, fast. But as you can see here, maybe in less than one minute, you have a, a development environment up and running, but only the first time, because if you open again the spaces, after after maybe or maybe after the first time you have uh, the same environment up and running in 20 seconds okay and from here i have my environment so i can start to work with uh, with the shepherd framework directly okay for instance i can create a new project okay no and from here i can okay the name of solution is a web part hello world react web part so and it starts to build everything because I, I have everything installed on this container. As I mentioned before, uh, Yeoman, Gulp, and stuff like that. And I also trusted the certificate. Okay. In addition, I just opened the port here. In uh, as you can see here, I have uh, this kind of uh, let's say this link is just for you. And GitHub try to log it in with your GitHub account at this link, so it's not public. So it's just for you, okay? And you can access only from your account to this link. Uh, I think is 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 not finished, but uh, of course, also this this uh, let's say this task is more faster than on your local machine because you are in the cloud, and uh, also the disk for <laughs> from GitHub is 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 um, is faster than your hard disk, of course. Now it takes uh, a little bit. So I can open a, a, a previous project here, maybe. No, it's almost finished. No, I can open my old, old project here. And uh, here, just a container here, open. So I can open the container directly. Let's see, ah, oh, okay, I just open it here in another screen. Okay, and as you can see here, I have a, my project up and running. So what you have to do here, of course, it's go here on server and change your uh, server, your initial page with your uh, environment, dev environment. Okay, and then what you you can do is uh, open a terminal, also here, new terminal, new terminal, and launch the Google cell. Okay, it's very easy. So it's like 
you work on, on the local machine. And after, let's say, and one second, two seconds, five seconds, I don't know how many seconds, okay, <laughs> you start to build your project and launch your website with uh, your uh, dev stuff, okay? So, and then for the rest, is the same. I don't have too much time, but the last thing is uh, you can also use the browser version, but if you want, you can also open everything in Visual Studio Code if you have a Visual Studio Code installed. You don't have to open Visual Studio Code and then launch Code Spaces, but directly from Code Spaces, you, you can open Visual Studio Code. And as you can see here, you start my Visual Studio Code locally, and you can use your Visual Studio Code directly with everything installed, like uh, your, uh, let's say, extensions and, uh, and stuff like that. Okay. So this is what I like to share today with you. And uh, done here. So this is the repository. And in the slides today, I, I share also my repository. But feel free to open issues, open pull requests. Sorry, send pull requests after that. And here you can find my um, my contacts. OK, cool. OK, thank you for your attention, guys. Cool. And I hope you start using GitHub code spaces from tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Very cool stuff. A code space is a thing I certainly need to learn about. This was a great demo on getting started with that. Mm -hmm.